The member representing Okwe, Saple, and Uwe Federal Constituency at the House of Reps, Right Honorable Ife Afe, has given out four 500 kVA powered transformers to residents of Ororokwe, the capital of Okwe local government area in Delta State, to help curb the lack of electricity supply that has engulfed parts of the area for a long time. This is a follow-up gesture as reported a few weeks ago. The Honorable Afe also gave out free drugs to health care centers across the three local governments respectively. The lawmaker was represented during the event by his senior legislative assistant, Chief Barrister Isaac Itebo, as members of the community heavily led by the Oroji of Okwe, who was represented by Okakuro, Prince Godwin Ejiere, and the local government chairman of Okwe local government, Honorable Osiowa, who was represented by Secretary Barrister Eju Lida, made their way into the premises. High point of the event was the official handing over of the transformers to the community by Barrister Itebo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. On behalf of the Honorable Member, Zenzi, Kuti Go, both first up there, the President, I present this board transformers, 500 feet in the transformers, to its Royal Majesty, the real one. The benefits of Oropa community in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. In an interview, Okakuro, Prince Godwin Ejiere, spoke on his excitement at the gesture by Honorable Afe and just like Oliver Twist, asked for more as there exist other areas of the community that needs urgent attention. Uh, first and foremost, I'm here uh, to represent our Royal Majesty, Owe the first CFRO MNI. The origin of Okwe, he has expressed his heartfelt gratitude to our honorable representative, right honorable Ife Afe, or Kakuru Ife Afe, for this kind of gesture. And he sincerely wants to believe that there's always time to do it right. Now that he has started, we have too many things, catalog of things, requests and pains that will be rolled out for him to begin to flip through day in, day out. Because to him, he much is given, much is expected. But for what he has done and things that he like he said in his speech, he has on ground to do. We pray God Almighty to give him the strength, the love and grace. Because I know he cannot do it alone without the support of other members. We pray God Almighty to give him, show him love and mercy. So that the much desired support will be given. So that all that he has promised and the things that we are equally expecting will be able to fulfill all to the glory of God. Barrister Itebo told Rero TV in a chat that it is in the agenda of Honorable Affair to give back to his constituents as his drive and love for his people cannot be quantified. The senior assistant, however, promised that more projects are in the offing while calling for calm and cooperation from residents in Okwe, Sable, and Uye federal constituencies. I'm uh, Chief Isis Organary Itebo. I'm the senior legislative aide to write Honorable Ife Affair. Uh, what you just saw today is the presentation of 500 kVA transformers for to the Europe community. Those power transformers will help a long way to resolve the energy crisis in Europe. And uh, well, just like the community said, Oliver Twist always asks for more. 
we still need, apart from that one, we still need a minimum of five more transformers that we properly resolve the energy crisis in Oruruko. On behalf of Oruruko community, we want to thank Honorable Fairfair. We thank him. We want to thank the community. We want to thank His Royal Majesty Red the First, SFRO, MNI, the Rugi of Okba Kingdom. We want to also thank the district head, Chief uh, Godwin Ejiri, who represented the Oruge, the interim management committee, the PDP members, everybody, every community member that are here that made this ceremony a huge day. We want to also thank and appreciate the chairman of Okba Local Government Council, Honorable Isaiah S. Young. We are grateful. We are grateful to every person. We are grateful to the pressman. Then again, uh, water is very essential. In our speech, you saw it that uh, by the end of this month, towards the end of this month, we will be locating a water project in Orurukbe. Water project that will serve the entire uh, community. To that extent, the water project, the water scheme will be divided into three, one at the center of the town, one at the extreme, sorry, and the other one at the extreme. Even apart from that, there are three other water projects, four water projects that also be completed, one in Adagbasa Ogolo community in you know, uh, Okba local government, Okulo community in Okba local government, Okwemefu community in Okba local government that is there, then Okubu in Sapele local government and all that. So uh, we are working very hard. And of course, you said, you know, security is a challenge, a big challenge in the country. And in order to strengthen the security, local security outfit in Oruropa community, he gave out the sum of one million naira. And again, he also told them he's going to bear the financial burden for the provision of uniforms and safety boots in order to enhance the proper community policy of the community. Uh, by special grace of God, within the limited resources he has, we are going to do more.